Hey there, yes, I'm back, and I'm sorry if yesterday's video with the lovely Kate Walton Elliott threw you off a bit. Yes, she's going to be helping to produce some videos for this channel. We've been friends since forever and been making videos together for almost as long. And we both moved to the US within about two months of each other. We nearly once had a TV show together too, but that's another story. And for those who are curious, no, I'm not going anywhere. And no, this Kate isn't my other half. Yes, I'm married to a Kate, but just not this one. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get on with today's video. What came first, the electric car or the charging station? It's a question as old as the electric car itself, and it's been used for a really long time to argue for or against more electric vehicle charging. And I'm guessing that if you've spent any amount of time driving an electric car, you'll have some interesting thoughts about the subject. After all, with many electric cars on the roads, electric vehicle charging infrastructure is easily identified as a needless expense by those keen to slow down the mass adoption of the electric car. And if no charging infrastructure is put in place, then people are slow to make the switch from gasoline to electric because their range anxiety means they want to know there's somewhere to fill up away from home even if they really don't need to. But last week, Jeff Allen, this guy here, and the executive director of Forth, posted an essay on the Forth website entitled, Let Us Bury the Chicken and the Egg. His argument that the relationship between electric cars and charging infrastructure isn't like the relationship between the chicken and the egg. It's like the relationship between a hot dog and a bun. For those who don't know, Forth is a transportation advocacy and education nonprofit based in Portland, Oregon. Originally known as Drive Oregon and focusing exclusively on encouraging the mass market adoption of electric vehicles in the state, the organization underwent a rebranding earlier this year to become Forth. At the same time, it expanded its geographic reach to the whole of the Pacific Northwest, as well as expanding its remit to include smart and shared transportation solutions, as well as electric vehicle mobility. Which is to say that Jeff and the rest of his team have plenty of experience when it comes to plugging cars and their charging infrastructure. But hot dogs and buns? I'll explain. You see, with the chicken and the egg analogy, we're used to assuming that one can't exist without the other in a kind of paradoxical way. The chicken can't exist without the egg, and the egg can't exist without the chicken. You're all familiar with that one. And if we carry this analogy over to plug-in cars, it's literally suggesting we have to wait for one to exist before the other can happen. And if we do that, electric vehicle charging infrastructure and electric vehicle adoption rates suffer. The hot dog and bun analogy works far, far better. You see, it's okay to eat a hot dog without a bun. A hot dog is still tasty, if you like hot dogs, that is, and still provides you with some form of nutrition. Add a bun to your hot dog, though, and you can do a whole lot more with it than you can without. As Jeff reminds us in his essay, with a bun, you can add onions, mustard, and a pickle relish. It's easier to carry them around, and most people think that they taste better that way. I think you see where this is going. In Jeff's analogy, the bun is the charging infrastructure and the hot dog is your electric car. And the relish, the mustard, and the ketchup, well, they're the alternative charging protocols that make the whole thing even more tasty. Given that about 40% of people just use the slow portable charger that comes with their car and charge at home overnight from a standard household outlet, it's clear to see that while some people do eat their hot dogs without a bun, the majority of people do prefer to get a bun to hold their hot dog in. The rest? Well, they've never dreamed of having a hot dog without a bun. And some people even have multiple buns in their home for their hot dog, um, electric car. If you think that's where the analogy ends, though, you'd be wrong, because as Jeff reminds us, and this is actually my favorite bit of the whole thing, hot dogs are usually sold in multiples of five, where buns are often sold in even number multiples, like packs of six or eight. And that means that you're often left with more hot dogs than you are with buns, which means you either have to choose to buy more buns, or have a hot dog without a bun, or gasp, have two hot dogs share a bun. No, uh, okay. Either way, when you find that there's a disparity between the number of charging stations and the number of electric cars, you can now say, we have a hot dog problem if there are too many charging stations, or we need more buns, if there aren't enough charging stations. At least it beats the chicken and the egg. Maybe we need more food analogies for EV adoption. That's it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and click the Patreon link at the end of this video if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time.
keep evolving!